what we're seeing here, you might be wondering, when we're talking about Enlist Technologies, why are we standing in front of a corn pot? Well, in the next few years, in Missouri, we'll be rolling out Enlist Corn. Enlist Corn is important for a few reasons. Here we've demonstrated Roundup Ready Corn being applied with Enlist Duo. As you can see, there's a lot of buggy whipping at the top, there's club roots at the bottom, and things like that. With Enlist Corn, we get the tolerances of 2,4-D choline in addition to FOP herbicides like Assure 2. Enlist Corn can be used in a few ways. We would really like to see it be a tool in our toolbox. An example of this is in a replant situation, Enlist Corn can be planted as that second corn crop and a FOP herbicide such as Assure 2 can be applied over the top to kill the original crop. You might be wondering if in a replant situation where corn that has the Enlist trait is used as that replant hybrid, what we're going to do in soybeans when that Enlist corn becomes a volunteer corn if maybe the harvest was a little rough in the fall? Well, that's a great question and it can be easily answered by using a dim herbicide to get rid of that volunteer Enlist corn. As you can see behind me, they're pretty gone and dead. With Enlist corn, we have the flexibility to use 2,4-D choline, glyphosate, and also FOP herbicides. As we've mentioned, situations in which we have replant and burn down without plant back restrictions, but also being able to use the Enlist herbicides as a in-season safe broadleaf control is really an advantage that we like to see here. This plot demonstrates the crop response in Enlist E3 soybeans. So with the Enlist E3 soybeans, we get a tolerance of 2,4-D choline, glyphosate, and glufosinate, otherwise known as Liberty. With these tolerances, they're all inserted in a simple, clean, one-site insertion into these soybeans. With the application of the Enlist technologies on the Enlist E3 soybeans, we can see some leaf drooping and cosmetic speckling on the soybeans as it metabolizes the chemistry being applied. These symptoms usually go away in about a day or so and do not cause any impact on yield. As we can see across this plot, those mixtures of glyphosate, glufosinate, and 2,4-D choline were applied in 1 and 2x times rates. And with that, we're not seeing any late season crop response or anything like that. All of these beans look the same as the untreated checks within this plot here. The Enlist E3 soybeans really have robust tolerance. This allows us to spray through R2, tank mix with Liberty and AMS, and the Enlist products themselves are not restricted use pesticides, which really makes the whole system even more flexible. So in this plot here, we want to talk about the, some of the differences in safety between the dicamba platforms and Enlist bean platforms. In this plot, we have a Roundup Ready 2 soybean planted, so they do not carry the E3 soybean trait or dicamba traits. We have treated two rows here with a 5% tank contamination. This would be equivalent to 50 gallons of diluted solution in a 1,000 gallon sprayer. Some of the damage we see here is short, stunted plants, stacking of the nodes, very limited new regrowth on the plants, and we even see damaging to the neighboring rows outside of the two rows that were treated. This is about three and a half weeks after application. So with this block here, we've done the same demonstration with, with the Enlist herbicides. So we've still done a 5% tank contamination on these two rows, and we see very minimal damage. And there's a big difference between Enlist and Dicamba products on non-traded soybeans, because non-traded soybeans are 23 times more tolerant to 2,4-D acid than Dicamba. This is why we see much less damage, promoted growth, and still even in the flowering stages now. So in this plot here, we've done the same demonstration, but we've backed the contamination down. These two rows were sprayed with one half of 1% tank contamination. As you can see, we are still noticing damage. We still have cupped leaves, stunted soybeans, and we still even see damage on the neighboring rows that were not affected by the direct spray. 
This final block here, we did the same representation with Enlist. We backed the contamination down to one half a percent and sprayed these two rows. Overall, we see very minimal damage, almost none really, and we really can't even see a difference between the untreated check. This is increased safety with our Enlist herbicide programs when transferring to beans with different traits. Even though this is added safety, we still recommend a triple rinse before and after using the Enlist weed control system. In this demonstration here, we really show the need for a pre-emergent at planting time. This allows us to reset the clock in our soybean fields. We prevent prolonged germination of weeds for 30 and up to 45 days weather dependent. This is important because it allows our post application to be more timely, more effective, and we eliminate weeds from the start, always protecting our yield for our soybeans. With this four row block on my right here, this is an application made with Enlist One, Select Max, and Durango DMA. This is a very good mix for smaller broadleaves, tougher to control grasses, as well as volunteer corn. With these four rows on my left, we have a treatment of Enlist One plus Liberty with also Ever Pre-X. This is important because it controls our harder to control broadleaves such as water hemp and mare's tail, and it also provides a layered residual product in order to keep this clean until harvest. With these two blocks of soybeans here, on my right, these four rows were treated with Enlist One plus Durango DMA. This is a very good mixture for smaller, easier to control broadleaves and grasses. On my left, these four rows were treated with Enlist One and Liberty. This is a strong mix to go after water hemp and Palmer amaranth and also mare's tail. The difference between these two plots are there is no added residual in the post supplied products. Even though we have exceptional weed control, we can still see weeds that are germinating in late season. Our best management practices with the Enlist weed control system include a, a pre-emergent at time of planting. Even though we provide effective post-emergent control with Enlist One Plus Liberty or Enlist One Plus Durango DMA, we still see an increased population of weeds throughout the season. When tank mixing with the Enlist weed control system, always start with plenty of water in your sprayer. Then add AMS products. Next, we would like you to add glyphosate or glufosinate, depending on what you're using, and flush the system, and then add the 240 choline last. When tank mixing, it is important to never let two active ingredients come in contact in the same inductor. Always use plenty of water, always agitate, and please flush out the inductor in between each different active ingredient for best results. In this bare ground study, we were looking to compare different herbicide systems and how they perform here in Missouri. This block was treated with Durango DMA plus Ever Pre-X. As you can see, we have some water hemp that is resistant to glyphosate, and it is not our best option in our E3 soybeans. In this bare ground study here, I wanted to show the effects of tank mixing in list one plus Durango DMA, plus Ever Pre-X. As you can see, we've done a very good job of controlling our water hemp. Also in this plot, we have heightened control of grasses. And List 1 plus Durango DMA is a very good choice for grass control and smaller broadleaves. In this bare ground study here, we have applied a full rate of Liberty plus Ever Pre-X. As you can see, early in the season, the Liberty had some control on the water hemp. As time progressed, they have started to regrow, and now it looks like they could even go to seed. Part of the stewardship of the Enlist weed control system is using multiple modes of action. By having Enlist 1 in this tank, we would have ensured that these weeds would have not been able to regrow. This would have provided a clean field throughout the season.